Hey now, it's Mark from Ray Screws. I'm going over my purchases from the 2016 Hot Wheels convention. That bag is from the recent convention. This bag, I think it's still in the bag from like uh, another show I went to. I don't remember, but that's not from the convention. Now, the Hot Wheels Acceleracers, people ask me, why do you, why do you keep buying them if you, already have, if you already have this one? Why do you buy another one? Well, for my Track Time channel, uh, I'm going to be track testing different cars. Now, here we have a racing drone. Here you have RDO2. Well, if I do a track time video on my track time channel with RDO2, I don't want to do it with just one car. I want to use the Acceleracers RDO2. And then how about a recolor? How about I do RDO2 in green? So this way, when I make a feature video of RDO2, you get to see different colors of RDO2 that's been released. Same with uh, Teku. Here you have Drift Tech. You'll be seeing him on my Track Time channel. Links in the description, by the way. Well, how about Drift Tech? How about I use this version too? Holiday Hot Rods, Drift Tech. So, this way you get to see more than one Drift Tech that's been released. Well, after starting making, uh, I've been starting making my films for my Hot Wheels models. Yeah, I'll be using other models too, just not Hot Wheels. I came up to some cars like this Excelium. Guess what? He has not been recolored hardly ever. I mean, just a couple releases. Maybe he was with a uh, one of those truck pack packages, haulers, I forgot the name of them. Uh, truck package, he was uh, in a Hot Wheel single, and uh, uh, I don't know if he was in there or there, but that's why I keep buying uh, extra models. And when, when people ask me, Ray Screws, you say you have a co complete collection of accelerators, but you don't have this or that. And when I say complete collection, I'm talking about this set here. These packages, there was uh, so many of each car, of each team. I got all the cars from all the teams, and that's what I'm talking about when I have a complete collection. But I have picked up the others that you were talking about. I will get to that bag, but it makes more sense for me to come over here. You see, these accelerators were sold in lots of stores, right? But these over here, as you can see, the packaging is, oh, RDO2. So see, I can use this one. I can use this one. Of course, I'll use the uh, original. Where'd you go? I don't know. He's off. But anyways, uh, this was a different series that they released. Now, these are the regular acceler accelerators packages. These were available in all regular stores, copyright 2004. Now I'm going to look over here. This one is copyright 2005. So see, they started issuing recolors, different, different. Uh, they made them different teams. Look, uh, he's black, but baseline used to be white. Uh, so you see, they had different types of series. Uh, racing drones. Yeah, he was a racing drone. Oh, see, stripped metal series. So I guess they had some sub-series with uh, diff different colors of chrome different metals well here's one it's the same car good I got two so if one doesn't roll good then I got an extra let's see what else we have I'll just go through them in order and then you'll notice realm series racing drones rd05 oh look uh, it's kind of gunmetal gray very cool I like that now just I might not necessarily use every car in my track time videos if I find out something super rare and very expensive mm, I might not do it or maybe I'll do it on a simple set to where the car can't get damaged. Realm Series RD06 in uh, purple. Has a comb old wheel. It's pretty cool. The inside, the inside rim is clear actually. It's not even, the, has no dye. Not, uh, not the usual chrome like this. Oh, how'd you get in here? This is, this is a regular card ratified from Metal, Metal Maniacs. That's a regular... Uh, like I was talking about. These are the regular ones. They came with the uh, booster packs, the little uh, three-card decks of cards. Oh, I guess I have a couple in here. Here's a ratified. I try to get things uh, all together, and then uh, this way when I go to put them away, it helps me because I've done some sub-sorting. Jack Hammer from Metal Maniacs. Again, Realm Series. Very interesting. Let's see what do we have here. RD06 Racing Drone. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if this is international. This does not have... Oh, and well, I think these are stickers. Uh, so far, they've all been racing drones. But anyways, uh, I don't know. There's some packages where they have, like, stickers or something. 
He he practically looks the same as he normally does. I don't know the difference. Huh. Team Colors Series. Here you have high voltage from Teku. Oh, this one's nice. Check out Cove Light. Nice purple or a, mm, I can't think, mauve. I don't know, maybe that's mauve. Cove Light in the Acceleron series. To be honest, I have no idea how many different cars were sold. Oh, we got two. Beautiful. I'll be using one then. Both the same wheels. Comold six spokes, yep, Comold six spokes. Acceleron series. And the last one in this bag, here we have uh, Team Color series. Synchro. Now, that's what I purchased at the uh, convention. Oh, so the regular uh, accelerators, they were available at lots of stores. These packages. I, I only remember these at Kmart. Uh, I don't know if they were sold at other stores. I just, I just don't remember. But not only did they have these uh, singles, they had these three packs. And I have, I have quite a few of these actually already. But if I'm gonna use them for track time, sometimes the car doesn't roll well, so I gotta have another one to take its place. So let's see, performance ultimate track pack. By the way, if you look for these, like on eBay, these are called ultimate track pack. So you would search for Hot Wheels ultimate track pack or accelerators track pack. I'll just go ahead and scan through the cars real quick. I won't do the names. You might know the names already. Yeah, it looks like an international package here. I'm gonna leave this one out so that we can uh, compare, so that we can compare if there's a different packaging. And these are copyright 2005, so see, it was a later release. And when I was collecting, it's like, I already got the original accelerators, uh, I don't need recolors. Well now, I wish I bought them back then. Or maybe I get a better price now. Guess how much I paid? Three bucks a pack, a dollar a car. Insane. Oh yeah, I'm glad to get another color of Arc Carbide. As you can see, the packaging is the same. So let me just bring them up. Oh, and see, look, same car. This is another thing that they would do. They'd, they'd have the cars mixed up to where you'd have, if you wanted everything, if you wanted this, for example, you'd have to buy both packs. And the next thing you know, you got, you got two Cove lights. Let's see, what do we have here? That's another thing that didn't appeal to me, but you know, they do what they do. I know I have this car. I don't remember seeing this one so, so much. I don't remember this one. I might have got this one in a different three pack. Let's see, what do we have next? Oh, and I don't know how much these were. If anybody remembers how much these were originally, because I know they were more expensive, but uh, see, there's the car again. There's that car again, there's that car again. So they would mix up the cars in the packages. Um, by the way, quick glance at the package, same package, international. I don't know if they were all released like this or maybe I just bought this from somebody who, who came down from Canada and then I wind up with uh, international packages. There's Carbide, Carbide, RDO1, I think. Oh, very nice, I like that. And what do we have? Excuse me. Let's pull them through this way. It'd be a little easier. Oh, fantastic. Got another one. Got another one. Uh, is this the first one here? Ratified? I don't see them. That's the first one I got so far. And here's this one. So even though I wind up with multiple cars, uh, you know, I use them in, on my track time channel. Oh, excellent. I got two. I got another one. And there is another one. So anyways, as I'm going through my convention picks up, pickups, I'm giving you a little peek at history. Uh, these are accelerators, originally from 2004, and then early 2005, and then these were released. By the way, that copyright date is gonna be the year before, most of the time, it's the year before they were actually released. Oh yeah, remember what I said when I started the video? Accelium, I have hardly any recolors, only a, only a couple. There's models like Synchro, this is Synchro right here, Synchro, has, he's been recolored a lot of times, easily more than 15 times. Cove Light, he's had quite a few. Mm, that's not Jackhammer. Rolling Thunder, actually Rolling Thunder has not had that many recolors, so it's nice to get that for my track time. And Excellium, there you go. I even got an extra. So look forward to seeing this color Excellium along with the original Excellium in my Race Grooves track time channel.
Thank you for subscribing to Race Grooves and be sure to subscribe to my Track Time channel as well. The link is in the description. Have fun with your cars. Bye bye.